Hey, my name is Mikey Gordon, the Santa Cruz kid, the promoter of Beach Slam down here in Santa Cruz. Um, you know, not a lot of people know me out here, but uh, I do have a resume. It starts back in St. Louis in 2001. But uh, I know that none of that means anything out here. You know, I know wrestling is all about paying your dues, being respectful of those that came before you, and, you know, um, keeping an open mind and, be and staying humble. Um, so when I moved out here, I started training with Hood Slam. You know, Sheik asked me to help them try to get booked in other towns because um, I have a history doing that stuff. Um, so I, I had him booked here down here in Santa Cruz last year. Uh, in September, they uh, he told me he didn't want to get insurance, the insurance that they needed to, to do the show down here. You know, um, I wrestled at Hood Slam. I never got paid. And, you know, I, my band played there and never got paid. You know, it wasn't a big deal. It was for the love of the game because I love pro wrestling. And um, once I noticed there was no pro wrestling down here in Santa Cruz. Uh, so basically, I decided to start running wrestling down in Santa Cruz January this year. I had a meeting with Sheik. He gave me the blessing to use the Beach Slam name. Um, basically, I wanted to have a promotion that highlighted the stoners, him, what was going on in Hood Slam, because they weren't going to run down here in Santa Cruz. So, you know, we called it Beach Slam. You know, I booked these guys. I booked the stoners to be the top tag team. You know, I booked their students as ring crew and as, you know, um, the talent on the show, you know. Um, and, you know, that's what the whole deal was down here. You know, the first two shows, the, the uh, Stony U kids were booked for ring crew. And they, they were booked like that on this third show, too. You know, my deal with Sheik was I was going to give him a third of the profits in exchange for him wrestling and for the use of the cameras. You know, so basically, you know, whatever... You know, I had all the financial responsibility. You know, on the first two shows, it lo they lost money, hundreds of dollars. And, you know, that's fine. I paid it out of my pocket, no problem. But, you know, I booked the Stoner U kids for Rain Crew. Stoners knew that. Um, I guess they didn't relay the message very well. But that's their main goal was to be Rain Crew. That's why I booked those guys, you know. Um, and I booked them through the Stoners because that's how I learned. The respect was you got to work through the trainers, you know. So, long story short... You know, everybody got paid. I give the stoners $100 each show for their students. I don't know if the students got it or not, but I gave it to the stoner, stoners to, uh, to pay them. Um, what else? You know, Chupi didn't want to wrestle one of his students after Drugs Money told me that I needed to find somebody to wrestle the main event. He got paid two-thirds of his money for wrestling one out of two of his matches. You know, everybody got paid on the show. I owe Odie 20 bucks for uh, that watch. And, you know, uh, Sheik threatened me, you know. They basically told me that I owed him money now for him wrestling and for use of the cameras. And, you know, like he told me that not only that I'm in danger, um, he told me he's going to come down to Santa Cruz and beat my ass. Uh, he also got my girlfriend involved, you know, which I just think I just think that's a low blow, you know. Um, but long story short, I'm going to be down here in Santa Cruz running shows, hanging out with my beautiful woman, my dog, and, you know, my ring and two blocks from the beach you know uh, we're gonna be down here doing shows third saturday every month down at bocce cellar in santa cruz and uh you know i'm not going to be using those guys anymore but there are plenty of quality talent around here you know i'm sure that i've met and that i haven't met yet that i will be booking so you know beach slam's not going anywhere santa cruz kid ain't going on anywhere and um you know let's just part our ways on that